guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have for you a Poundland haul. So I haven't done a Poundland haul in a very long time. Um, I don't even think I've been into Poundland for a very long time. I think I've been in there maybe twice, three times in the last sort of two months because obviously the kids were home, I didn't get to go shopping so since they've been back I've been in there a few times. Um, majority of it is actually from today because I had to get a few bits and bobs and one thing I did buy was a really really cool mouse mat for the other half what was that? Um, anyway yeah it's a mouse mat and they do sell a lot of uh, computer soft stuff in there now like mouse click keyboards and headsets and stuff like that so yeah if you're looking to get a little setup going for your kids or yourself um, look no further than Poundland so I'm gonna start with a few little bits um, first of all from One Below because I did go into One Below to buy yarn because I was making a, a dress which turned into a skirt which then turned into a full skirt and yeah um, I will show that to you at some point um, but I went in for some plastic cups again I need to buy um, reusable ones for my resin um, because this is not good for the planet uh, I do try and reuse these as much as I can before throwing them away but still uh, paper would be better but you know I have to take what I can get at the moment uh, so it is nearing Halloween and it is nearing autumn where I change all my displays to autumn so these pumpkins are from one below and look just at that yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go look how cute they are oh my god get rid of my face look at those gorgeous stems so I wasn't expecting the stems to be curly but they are so pretty and they're just little um, velvet pumpkins so it's just this cheap velvet fabric but they look so pretty and there's just polystyrene inside so they're really light and these are one pound each uh, excuse my voice as well guys I am sick so I'm trying my best to sound pretty normal I bought one of each and I went back to get the bigger ones because they had big ones and they had all sold out so I know Poundland actually does have their Halloween section they do have um, velvet pumpkins but they're all the wrong colour I wanted um, either black and white or like a purple or pink but they only had yellow orange and I think white so but the white wasn't that great so I, I didn't buy it um, these are also from one below I bought 10 because my daughter is turning 10 10 <sighs> this weekend actually so we'll be when this video goes up we'll be celebrating the whole weekend that she's no longer in single digits my big girl who actually looks like a woman now she's 10 so I bought some balloons for her now starting with Poundland I mean ending with Poundland now that I've got two big bags here but I couldn't resist this cup um, I said no more mugs. I said it in my tea cake when I went to HomeSense. I said no more mugs. I'm not buying no more mugs. And then I, 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 I see this. Look. It's like oil slick. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it's got little feet. It's got little feet. So yeah, these will probably scratch my um, unit. So I'm going to have to uh, use a coaster with this or use it as a plant pot but I just couldn't resist and it's just it's so pretty and it was only a pound so I love it I love it um so yeah that was uh yeah that was that got some Benelin uh children's dry cough and sore throat syrup because it's coming into the season of sickness um I'm I have a cold and I've tested negative for covid but i did actually go and buy myself loads of uh, um stuff from savers uh pharmacy so I've, I've dosed myself up and i thought i'd dose the kids up this was uh three pound fifty so it wasn't in the it's pound land but it wasn't a pound it was three pound fifty but um if it works for them then i'm happy to 
to use it and it's day and night use so you know it doesn't make them drowsy although I wish it did um oh more birthday stuff yay um so I got some banners these are just the plain happy birthday banners and they're those shiny oh my god the camera's just like what's going on so they're just the shiny uh banners and I got some tissue paper because some of her presents are she hasn't got a lot this year because she wants uh, an expensive gift so we just bought a tissue paper for the little things we did by her um so yeah she loves all things pride and rainbow so i got her those uh anything else from that section i got some punch pockets um you can never go wrong with these especially if you have kids have kids at school or you yourself like to be organized um, so there's 60 in here and when the kids have homework, craft homework, I tend to stick all their homework when it's loose into one of these and I'll slide it into their book. Because they tend to put their bottles of water inside their bag sometimes and it all gets wet. So at least with these punch pockets nothing's going to get wet and the work's a little bit protected. So I, ch I, like, I like to buy those. Um... <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me um <laughs> i bought a hole punch i can't find my hole punch anywhere and i was doing a project helping aria with a project and i was poking holes with a pencil into plasticine to make this project and i was like where's my hole punch so i went and bought a hole punch there it is just the plain black one i'm hoping it does the trick because they used to get stuck a lot at school so let's hope this one works Poundland for stationery has always been a dream for me. Every time I go in there, I always see something in the stationery that I love. So, thank you, Poundland. Uh, what else did I buy from there? I've got loads of snacks and stuff, but I don't want to do all that now. I'd rather do the other stuff. Um, I got this soft and cosy pet blanket for when we're hugging our guinea pig. Um, it has got dog paws on it. And it was three pounds, I think, instead of a pound. But I just thought, yeah, I just don't like using my blankets for him because he tends to wee on us and poo on us and his claws go through it. So I thought if he's got his own blanket, then at least we can, you know, wrap him up cosy. And when he's out and about, we can lay it on the floor and let him have a play about. So, yeah, little pet blanket they did have another one for cats as well it had a cat on it and cat paws but i bought the dark one because uh diego's fur is dark so at least it won't show up too much um i also got some batteries double a's not much more to say about those but they were two pounds and on to the homeware stuff so well homeware i'd say kitchen organization now this stuff has been around for ages and kitchen organization if you um watch instagram like all those years ago everyone was so hot on cleaning and stuff and now they're all hot on organization well i didn't buy that for this i bought this sorry i didn't buy this for that i bought this for my uh, resin stuff and organization of my table of course I wouldn't be using it for my cupboards. Why? I love my cupboards being in disarray. Um, so yeah, this is just the turntable. Storage turntable. But I thought, if this is on my table with all my stuff in, I can just spin it round, use a bit, put it back, and it's all in one place. And it's stacked neatly in pots. Um, so yeah, they were all open, which is annoying. So I'm hoping it's all there. But, um, yeah, that's what the trays look like themselves. They're not non-slip, though, I'm afraid. Um, but, yeah, I'm guessing the stick is at the back there. Yeah, it is. I hope there's three in there. There better be three in there. Oh, I can't get it out! Right, that's the... Oh, yeah, there's three. There's three sticks in there at the bottom, as you can see. There you go. And, yeah, so they stack like that. And then it spins. So cool. This is a spinny thing. It's like a lazy Susan. Right? One of those things that sit in the middle of the table and you dish up. 
Oh, I could stick one of my, my Christmas one on there and spin it. That would be cool. Anyway, um, so yeah, that was £3. I also got a new... Oh my God, that's quite heavy. Um, I also got a new chopping board. So this is a little bit bigger than the one I have now, but I do have a bamboo chopping board already. But we've had it for, I'd say, three years, and it's got a groove all the way around the edge. And when I'm cutting tomatoes or something like that, every time I'm like bringing it to the edge and I, I try my best to get it out of the groove and it always ends up in the groove so I'm just like I hate this chopping board I hate it but I've never bought a new one so I bought this one it was five pounds in um in their kitchenware section and they had a lot of, sorry it's upside down chopping board um so yeah sustainable wood yay sustainable um, so yeah, and like I said, it's a little bit bigger than what I have now, which is good, so it will cover the hobs, because we've got an electric hob, and I don't like it, so I like to cover it up and hide it, but yeah, five pounds, decent, actually decent, um, oh, yes, the more exciting part, so, I have HelloFresh meals delivered every week, but, but guys, there's a big but, I am very lazy when it comes to cooking when the kids come home and I'm just like Ugh, I can't be bothered to cook because they all want a different meal so they tend to eat a different thing and I have to then cook four three four three sorry I then have to cook three to four different meals and it annoys the hell out of me so hello fresh goes on like you know by the by it gets stuck in the fridge for ages and then all the dry store cupboard ingredients just get stuffed in the cupboard so we've got about a 12 to 13 packets of rice just stacked up so I bought these that was my little story behind that by the way I don't know why I decided to tell you everything about it but um, so I bought two of the small ones and two of the pasta jars so these are for spaghetti but this looks really short for spaghetti is spaghetti this short I'm gonna have to test it out we don't have much right now so it's only about 10 strands of spaghetti in there but um, I will test it out and then all the rice is going to be put in one of these actually it's probably going to have to be put in one of these because there's a lot of bags so yeah these are just the clip storage jars they are how much each let me have a look for you because I don't actually remember um, storage jars storage jars storage jars oh yummy Clip top jar, two pounds, two pounds. Was the other one two pounds? Yeah, I think they were all two pounds. Not bad, guys, not bad. Ikea are probably same well, I don't know if the glass ones are two pounds, but pretty similar in price. And they got the um silicone edge to keep them uh airtight, you know what I mean? Airtight. And they just clip. But yeah, I just thought I've got to start organising my my kitchen cupboards because they are looking like a bomb's hit them at the moment. So that was those. <laughs> and like I said, I bought more of those. Oh, I also got these cool um, pop grips. So I make these on my shop. But I was thinking I might cover these in Diamantes and give them away as Christmas presents this year. So shouldn't have showed you that I don't know who I'm gonna give them to probably nieces and stuff so <clears throat> I'm just gonna move along swiftly from those but they're a pound each guys so you know if you like that sort of thing go get them mine aren't a pound each they're about nine pound each because they take me ages um but yeah let's go on to the food oh wait no there's two more bits two more bits that are not food so I bought a new bottle brush because the kids gone back to school and um they're drinking out their bottles again so I bought a new bottle brush they only have this in the baby section like I would love to get a proper bottle brush um, like a sturdy one that doesn't fall apart but for a pound uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I got some kitchen foil and food okay so I got some rice krispie bars the kids love these they're quite yummy I also got two packs of the uh, Tasties, which way is that? Oh, there we go, Tasties, yummy, uh, they're 75p each, these are a pound, I think, 
these were where did I put that receipt where'd it go where'd it go pop tarts I think they were a little bit more expensive than I thought yeah £2.50 yeah that's fine £2.50 not too bad for pop tarts because I swear these were banned at one point in the UK because they're so bad for you but do you know what as a treat sometimes I like to have one so you know <laughs> I did actually buy these for myself though <clears throat> Whew. breathe so they're galaxy cookies and they're my favorite nut I'm also allergic but I can't help myself so I'm not that allergic but my throat starts to itch after apples and nuts and stuff but they're my favorite snacks and food so I get really upset but they're yummy and these are gorgeous the the hazelnuts are whole so and as you can see I've had them open this morning so I had two of my coffee but they're actually I don't want to open them too much let me get one out and show you because I'm just so excited about these but it's a proper oh my god my hands are shaky proper cookie got chocolate chips in them full hazelnuts I picked out the worst one oh and they smell so good and lastly I got some Biscoff biscuits and I got some squashy clouds squishy cloud skittles um, the youngest one likes these I prefer these ones to the, the original skittles because I don't like the hard shell but the insides always yummy so yeah but that was my poundland haul guys I'm, I'm I, like I said I haven't been for a while but um, I'm happy with the stuff I got but this is my favourite thing ever and where is it the pumpkins from uh, one below I just I think they're lovely but yeah happy shopping guys I hope you find lots of lovely stuff in your pound land whenever you go always share it with me if you have um, my socials which are usually in the description box down below but guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video Take care of yourselves. Bye.